Hi, welcome to day 34 of Science Challenge. Today we're going to continue with our theme of making a weather station. We're going to make an instrument that measures the air pressure. This instrument is called a barometer. Now, if you know about the air pressure, it can tell you something about the weather. Okay, it can tell you if the air pressure is high, then generally you have fairly settled, nice, warm weather. Okay, if the air pressure is low, generally the weather could be a little bit unsettled, maybe a bit windy, maybe a bit rainy. So if you know that the air pressure is changing, you might know that the weather is going to change for the better or for the worse. That helps to predict the weather. OK, so we're going to be making a barometer. So you need a few things for this. First thing you're going to need is a jam jar and a balloon. Now, I've already cut this balloon in take one. This is take two. So um, you're going to take your balloon and you're going to cut it just where it goes wide. OK, so I've cut my balloon just with my pair of scissors just there to get it wide. Then you're going to place this balloon over the top of your jam jar. Now, um, this can be a little bit tricky and a little bit fiddly. It might take you a few goes. OK, so I've got my balloon um, fairly well attached on the top of my jar. If, if you've got a balloon that won't really attach, you could always use a rubber band to secure it to make sure that it stays on. But mine um, is nicely over the ridges on the jar, so it's going to stay on there uh, quite tightly. So I don't need my rubber band. Um, but what you need is it to be quite uh, taut over the top with no wrinkles. OK, so the next thing you're going to need is a, um, a plastic straw. OK, and I mean, I've got double sided sticky tape, uh, but you could use just a bit of glue. You're going to attach your straw to the top of your barometer. OK, so I'm just going to place a little bit of sticky tape here, like so. And then peel it off and attach my straw. Like so. OK. The next thing I've got, I've got quite a long, big needle. You don't really need this. You could make an arrow out of cardboard or you could use a pin or anything. Let's pause. Oh, and we're back. We just had to answer the door. Um, so hopefully you've got a needle. If you haven't got a needle, then you could always use um, a piece of cardboard. I think I've already said that. So I'm going to stick this into the end of my straw. So again, I'm going to use my double sided sticky tape. You could use anything for this, a little bit of plasticine or um, just to put it in the end or a bit of glue. Um, but I'm just going to wrap this round. OK, so I've got my double sided sticky tape on to my uh, needle and then I'm just going to pop it in the end like this. Basically, you want this to be as long as possible because that will actually make your barometer more accurate and more precise. So it will mean that it's a little bit more sensitive to changes in pressure. OK, the final bit then that we're going to make um, is we're just going to make a little card to go up the side. So if you imagine the pressure is high um, in the atmosphere, it would press down on this slightly, which causes the needle to go up. So we're going to make a little scale to go alongside it. So I found one of these out of a game. OK, um, so just a little plastic stand. I'm going to make a little bit of card to go into my plastic stand. OK, so I'm just going to cut up a cereal box. OK, so I've got a strip here of cardboard. I'm just going to pop that into my plastic stand. If you haven't got a plastic stand, you could actually just use cardboard and uh, stick it to the bottom and fold it to make the card stand up behind your barometer. OK, all right. So this is I'm going to just mark a little scale on here. So I'm going to take a sharp pencil. This is a little bit tricky and a little bit fiddly. But what you can do is line your barometer up and you're just going to make a little mark where your needle is. OK, so this is today's pressure. I'm going to put another little mark which indicates high pressure and a little mark which indicates low pressure. You might want to make that um, nice and colourful and uh, make it a little bit clearer, do it in pen. You're going to stand that up by your needle. Obviously, this is representing today's pressure. If the pressure gets higher from today, it will push down on the balloon and force the pointer to go up. So if there's high pressure in the atmosphere, this will push down on the balloon and cause the needle to go up towards the high pressure. If there's low pressure in the atmosphere, it will cause the balloon to go up, which will actually push the needle down towards the low pressure. OK, um, have a bit of research.
research, do a bit of research as well on barometer and air pressure because it's really interesting, really quite a complicated topic really. But this is how you make a simple home barometer to add to your weather station. Enjoy.